Hello everyone, welcome back to Sali Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to add any logo image on a t-shirt in your video, and make it look 100% realistic in Filmora 14, so it looks like it's actually printed on the shirt. So let's get started. Open Filmora 14 for realistic t-shirt logo editing in any video. I already have a clip placed on the timeline. And in this one, we're going to add a logo image to the girl's shirt. To do this, go to the effects panel and click on Boris FX. Inside Boris FX, select the Mocha Filmora effect. You can apply it by clicking on the plus sign, or by dragging and dropping it directly onto the video. Then double click on the video, go to the effects panel again, and click on Launch Mocha Y. This will open in a new window. The Mocha interface may look very different at first, but don't worry. I'll guide you step by step. If you'd like a full tutorial on Mocha, let me know in the comments and I'll create a separate video covering it in detail. For now, I'll change the layout to Classic, since that's the one I also prefer in Filmora 14. Next, select the X-Spline Layer tool. Before using it, zoom into the preview with the Zoom tool, and adjust the position using the pan tool. Once the view is set, select the x tool, and click around the t-shirt area where the logo will be placed. Right-click at the end of the spline to close the selection, and now the area for the logo is ready. Click on the planar surface button, so that the surface icon appears inside your selected area. You can also adjust this manually to make sure it fits exactly where the logo will go. After that, go down to the track section. From here, activate perspective and mesh. You'll notice the mesh lines appear on your selected area. Now go into the mesh generation settings. I'll set the mode to uniform and change the mesh size to 20. After that, click on generate mesh. You'll see blue points appear over the selected part of the t-shirt, showing that the mesh has been applied successfully. This allows Mocha to take control of the selected area, and start tracking it. Place the playhead at the beginning of the video and click the track forwards button. Mocha will begin the mesh tracking process on your video. Since it works frame by frame, the time it takes will depend on the length of your video. When the tracking is complete, go to the insert section, and open the insert clip box. By default it's set to none, so click there and choose insert clip. Select any logo image from your computer, and click open. Then click import. Your logo will now be inserted onto the t-shirt area in the video. Next go to the transform section. Here you can adjust the position, rotation and size of the logo so that it fits naturally on the t-shirt. You can fine-tune the values in the Insert Offset boxes to make the placement perfect. Then go to the Feather section. By changing the values in the boxes, you can soften the edges of the logo on the left, right, top or bottom. Now go to the Composition section and change the Blend Mode. You'll see several options. So pick the one that looks best for your logo and t-shirt. In my case, I'll choose Overlay. You can also adjust the opacity if needed. I prefer removing the feather on the left and right, and keeping it only at the bottom, because it blends more naturally that way. Still in the Composition section, activate the Warp Grid and Power Mesh Warp options. Then go to the File menu at the top and save your project. Close the Mocha Filmora window and return to Filmora 14. In the Effects panel, expand the Model Renders section, and enable the toggle for Model Renders. Now you can see the logo image looking completely realistic on the t-shirt in the video. Finally, click on Render Preview to watch a smooth playback of your final edit. I hope this video helps you create a perfectly realistic t-shirt logo effect in your videos using Filmora 14. You're watching Sully Tutorials, stay tuned for more step-by-step -step tutorials.